Let's take some time now and look at some other fun things we can do with place value. I want you to get out one of the hundreds kind and five of the tens kind and three of the units kind. Okay, now look at how simple this is. Here's this number, and you know what I can do with my cards? I can pick them up, put them like this, and the child can see that that's the number 153. Some other fun things that you can do are putting these up and then asking the children, how many is this? It's three. What kind? The units. How many here? Five. What kind? Tens. And we have to put our zero there. How many here? One. And it's the hundreds kind. Now, in our books, when you see numbers written this way, you'll see them with plus signs at first. You know what? This is called expanded notation. Expanded notation. You know, when I taught seventh grade, I taught expanded notation. And we did do some other sophisticated things with it. But can you see that this way of writing our numbers, and here I've just color coded it and done it as if the blocks were out there first, this way really helps the child internalize those concepts of place value. And they can see the blocks. I could tell you story after story about children who might have had trouble with place value. And then they see the blocks, it's simple. Or a classroom where they were supposed to have 35 lessons on place value. And yet in 20 minutes, the basics were covered and the rest of the time can be spent for internalizing and going beyond. Let's leave this up here and do something else with it. We have out this many. Now, let's get out this many. Right, we need one of the tens kind and two of the units kind. Now, what happens when we put those all together? Right? We are just going to add these numbers. And let me write it the way that you're going to be seeing it with the plus signs in between. We just put it together. And what do we have? Five units. Right? How many of these? Six tens. And how many of these? 100. And the other thing we can do is, how many of these kind? Five. How many of the tens kind? Six. How many of the hundreds kind? One. 165. Remember what I said at first about children learning language? that they hear all these words, and think about it, they don't start out by just hearing two-letter words, adjectives, right? They don't start out by hearing those two-letter words, and then the next year, or the next few months, they get to three-letter words, and then four-letter words. They get the whole smorgasbord, right? They get to hear these long words. They love to say Tyrannosaurus Rex, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as if it were one word. They love that. What do you think about these large numbers? As a small child, it gives them some sense of power to work with these large numbers. And can they do it? What was required to do this addition problem? All you have to do is be able to, yes, count. And here we are. 
doing, some problems that maybe they might have waited, you know, a little longer to do, but this is so much fun for them. Once they master these concepts, they can go to thousands, ten thousands, hundreds, and hundred thousands, and so forth, and enjoy it.